Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, we're going to have a special tutorial for you guys. And this one is how to stop your kids from making purchases on Android. So, for example, this can work on any Android device or Samsung Galaxy device. And what I'm going to show you to do is I'm going to show you how to stop your kids from making app purchases or any other form of purchases. As you know, kids will play with your phone and when they start playing with your phone, they'll do all sorts of stuff such as rock up a high bill in either the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store. All right, so I'm going to start with the most popular, of course, on Android, which is the um, Galaxy, sorry, the Google Play Store. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to do, guys, is just to go ahead. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to make sure we're connected to the internet. Once we're connected to internet, we're going to go ahead and launch Google Play Store. Once you're in the Google Play Store, just go ahead and tap the three um, lines in the upper left of the screen. So let's go ahead and tap. Once you tap that, go ahead and go down to settings, which is right here. And once you go to settings, you're going to go scroll down. And once you scroll down, you should notice two key settings and of course by default they're off and those are the first one is biometric authentication for google play purchases on this device meaning that you will need to input your fingerprint before making a purchase so there we go and of course it will ask you to just confirm and you can just go ahead and confirm your password to make sure you are the person that owns this account and once you do that just go ahead and hit ok Alright, this should be quite easy. You should know your um, Google Play password. For now, I'm just going to cancel this. So make sure it's on. You'll know it's on when the toggle is highlighted. And of course, it's on the right side. The next thing you're going to turn on other than biometric authentication is require authentication for purchases. And of course, here it goes. It says, do you want it for every 30 minutes? Never or of course, for all purchases through Google Play Store. Make sure it's on for all purchases through the Google Play Store. So just make sure the first one is selected and both will work together. So the two key features is, as I said before, the biometric authentication and of course, require authentication for purchase. And once you get both of those um, enabled and the settings is set as seen, basically it should be good. And of course, if anyone tries to purchase anything at all, they'll be required that you enter your password or of course your fingerprint. And of course, no child will be able to purchase anything in the Google Play Store once this is enabled. All right, as it will ask for the password. Next, we're gonna go to the Google, sorry, the Galaxy Store. And the Galaxy Store is the second most popular app store which purchases can be made through. So let's go ahead and launch. All right, so once the Galaxy Store is launched, go ahead and tap the three dots, the upper right. Once you tap the three dots, go to settings, once you're in settings, you should see, of course, the option here that says require password or biometrics. And it says here, require password or biometrics to buy things from the Galaxy Store. And of course, that's what we want. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on. Mine is already on. And of course, that's it. Once this is on, as soon as anyone tries to make a purchase of anything that requires a purchase, they'll have to enter the fingerprint or scan their fingerprint and of course if they are not the owner of the device they will be unable to make that purchase all right guys so that's the two main ways you can stop your kids from making unauthorized purchases on the galaxy play store or the galaxy or the google play store on your android device all right guys if this was useful any at all especially to your parent to you parents just let us know below in the comments and of course it will greatly help if you could like the, um, this video so just go ahead and smash that like button and of course you can always comment as well that's also appreciated all right let's go to garden and see you until next time bye